This is my friendly cashier who saved me from losing my ticket and got me to the car park on time. Thank you very much. See ya. So I'm on the uh, platform at the Swanwich Steam Railway and I can see the locomotive up ahead and I'm quite excited about this trip. Apparently there's four and a half thousand volunteers or members of the charity, about four and a, 450 uh, at any one time are involved in operating the railway. on the train and waiting for departure, looking out the window at some yellow daisies.
Well, I'm at the end of the line here at Norton Station on the Swanage, Swanage Heritage Railway and uh, I've just been around the Purbeck Mineral Mining Exhibition and uh, kind of peaceful here now. What I noticed on the way up was a very large amount of kind of rolling stock and various other bits of Roman machinery from yesteryear that's uh, waiting to be renovated and uh, brought back into use. You're all um, volunteers, are you? Mostly. Mostly, yeah. There are a few. The, I think the guys in the ticket offices, I think they're paid. Are they? And yeah. uh, there's a few people down at Swanage who are they were paid, but the rest of us are volunteers. Obviously, we wouldn't be able to, be able to no. continue if we didn't have all the volunteers. Yeah, I read uh, there's about 4,000 in the trust. About yeah, 450 yeah. of you keep it yeah. keep it running, yeah, yeah? Yeah. Well, I think nowhere could, the National Trust couldn't do it. No. Any volunteer, any groups where you need volunteers, if you didn't have them. You do. You do. Just collapse, wouldn't it? Luckily, um, Heritage Railways attract a lot of enthusiasts, don't they? They do. They do. People yeah. love to work on the old yeah, machinery, yeah. don't you they? You still can never get enough. No. Now there's some days you don't, some stations haven't got any porters. You know, I think most stations ought to have two because you've got two ends of the train to yeah. look after and yeah. bits and pieces in the middle. Okay, when it's very quiet, you can do, but if you've got two as well, you have someone to talk to as well. It's a bit well, that's quiet, right, isn't it? it? But, you know, if, if I was sitting in there and something happened and there's no one here, no one would know. No, they wouldn't, would they? No. Just push me out of the way and get on with the next one. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very, it's very fragile and very thinly covered, isn't it? Yeah. But we all love it, but we're not now prepared to put enough money yeah, or effort it, into you know, keeping it. A, uh, a, in, re, in sort of reasonable terms of quite a large railway, yeah. like North York Moors and yeah. Seven Valley. And there's some very small ones that have only got about sort of yeah. five, six hundred metres of track. Yeah. And, you know, you wonder how they they really are struggling to, you know, I would, I don't like to think so, but in the next few years, it, it could be a number that just go under because mm. they just can't sustain it because you don't get the, the money coming in. And no. if you don't get the passengers, no. Costs are going up, coal is expensive, maintenance yeah. is expensive, so yeah. uh, keep our fingers crossed. Well, the yeah, there is there is a lot of interest in Heritage Railway. Yeah, but yeah. I noticed on the way up there's a lot of um, rolling stock and carriages, etc., that clearly are waiting to be restored and renovated. But well, restored, renovated, some of them, um, they put them out in the right places. Some people have come along, another railway will come and buy them buy and them. restore them. And in the end, a lot of them just have to go and be scrap, you yeah. know. Well, at least you get something if you sell them to a scrap yeah. metal dealer they'll give yeah. you something for them so how many still, engines have you got on this line now um well, we don't own them all you don't own um, them all. the one that's running today the, the u-class we own that one there's a company called southern locos based at hurston works and they own quite a few of the engines that run on here and elsewhere around that's the country right. so they rent them out yeah and that sort of thing but you know the railways have got to come in and cost them to rent them yeah. engines because they've got to maintain them yeah of course when it when a steam engine goes wrong i'm not talking of hundreds of pounds no, talking no. Of tens of thousands of pounds so it? have you got your own kind of maintenance people as well yeah or yeah we have do? our own you know all volunteers yeah yeah but even the drive the drivers the signalmen the guards are all volunteers all volunteers yeah without them we just couldn't survive and there's there must be a training program for people to learn how to drive or be, become yeah, a signal basically what they like to do here is start you off as like me as a porter, which gives you a general grounding of the whole railway. Yeah, yeah. And then from there you can go up to step up to a guard or a ticket inspector on the trains. Train. Uh, and then if you want to go further up, you, you have to start. The chap who gets up at half past four in the morning is to clean the engine out. Then the fireman, and then the driver. It depends how much time they 
they're prepared to put into it because you know it can take four or five years to become a driver I depends bet. how much time you can spare to come along and learn so when you start your first um trip up here at 10 to 10 someone's been up since half past four well yeah the, the engine has to be fired yeah. up obviously yeah um a lot of cleaning out and overnight they clean the ashes all the ash, old ashes out and that yeah. sort of thing yeah some poor soul's going to get up and <laughs> chuck the bit of wood in with it you know with a bit of oil on it to set the fire alight and then it gradually comes up and when it's all ready to go the driver gets in and he pulls the, yeah. <laughs> pulls the handle i don't it, that's a bit simplified but uh, you get the gist of what, <laughs> I uh, do, what they do i do yeah so it's a bit of a hierarchy really yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so next, next one we've got coming is a diesel because we're running two trains at the moment. Are you? Yeah. But okay. It's so costly with coal for two steam engines to. Yeah, I guess. Because some of the bigger engines do chew up the coal. I bet them. they do, yeah. So uh, they put a diesel on that not everybody likes, but there are people who like it because some of yeah. the diesels are heritage engines. They are actually. Engines. Yeah. There's a group when we have our diesel weekends or our steam weekends, you get a totally different group of people. I bet. Slightly younger come for the diesel ones and all a bit more rushing about where the steam ones it's a bit more sedate and <laughs> people of a certain age wandering about but no, there's two definitely separate groups who come to the yeah. obviously they all love the railways but some love diesels some yeah. love steam and some will take whatever's coming whatever's i'm quite coming, happy yeah. to to you know to look at them there's nothing quite like a steam engine there's there. nothing is there no it's just the smell and the sound isn't it yeah we had the um a bullied 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 however you pronounce oliver bullied or bullied who designed the light pacifics back in just after the war we had a a gala here a few a few months ago. We had eight of them here, which is so. The last time there was eight together was back in the sixties, I think. Man, but they were they're massive great engines. Obviously yeah. far too big for these. Yeah. But oh, the people were flocking here, just, and they were in such fabulous condition. I bet they really were. So you got the West Country class, Merchant Navy class, and Battle of Britain class ones. They're all very similar design engines, but uh, no, it was it was quite a sight to see them. You know, some of the trains had two on the front, one on the back, and then maybe two. Just so everybody could see all the different engines coming. It was really good. Really good. Well, I'm, I I live near Taunton. Right. And, of course, the West Somerset Railway there yeah. runs from Bishop's Lydia down, right down to um, Minehead. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that does, does very, yeah, really cause well. Yeah, because they went through a bad spell, didn't they, a few yeah. years ago? Yeah. But they seemed to be bad. I've been to the East Somerset, I've been to the West I've been to the East Somerset, the smaller one that yeah. David Shepherd yes. has it very much involved in. Um, and that was nice. Well, they're all lovely. To yeah, me. All they lovely. are. Go and see a different one. Quite unique, aren't they, in their own right? Yeah. 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 Great.